I cannot believe that they downgraded me to just being a minor henchman or so sad of excuse of a villain in this movie. Seriously, you humans are just scum treating me with little respect and envy. You better pretty much calm yourself, buddy. I'm sure what they did was intentional and they did not mean to do that. Well, I pretty much assumed that. They don't know what they did. Seriously, why did they do that? Do I have to toss you? I just hate what they did to me. Why don't you go sit down and I can just explain what you're talking about. Because you just go on a rant and you're going to just go on for hours about it. <sighs> Sorry about that. He's just pretty upset about what happened. And if you're probably curious, well, it's because recently you just checked out the Full Metal Alchemist movie, which is now on Netflix. And I gotta say, guys, this was actually a Japanese movie that I, act, well, live action movie at least, that was actually really good. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. The only time I actually watched a live action Japanese movie was uh, the Black Butler movie, which, honestly, it had little to do with Black Butler. Sure, it seemed different and all, but it, it just didn't really have the themes to it. I mean, sure, you had, like, The Undertaker and Sebastian, but those are the only characters you basically would see. But with the Fulman Alchemist movie, they actually upped their game. They actually promised us what we were expect, what we were waiting for, and sure, it's different, but that doesn't take the fact that it was awesome. No, I mean, seriously, it was awesome. I mean, seriously. I was seeing these trailers, and they looked promising, and I was like, um, okay, we're seeing some good CGI going on, and the actors seemed pretty good for a choice, and you should probably had already known by my, uh, reaction to the trailer, and, you know, the one where the homunculi were in it, and, well, I'd say when I watched it, I was generally intrigued. So yeah, I watched it, and, well, I was generally impressed. I mean, seriously, it does take some plot points from the story, as well as the animes, and believe it or not, it was more taken impressions, or, let's just say, it felt more compared to the O3 of FMA, rather than Brotherhood. Sure, there were some aspects of Brotherhood in it, but, honestly... I was actually glad that they basically kept it at a more serious tone, and they did have some comedy in it, but that didn't really distract from what was going on in the story, which I generally liked. And plus, oh man, those moments, it, very, it makes you pretty much get the feels. Not to mention... Well, I really don't want to give him the spoiler territory, but let's just say it definitely had a little bit of some things in it that I did not expect or see coming. For example, I did like the fact that Winry got involved in it a little more, and she pretty much was a lot more well, likable than how she was in Brotherhood, in my opinion. I mean, seriously. I did not like Winry at all when it came to Brotherhood. That... Plus, she at least did help, which I liked. I mean, she only got kidnapped once. Plus, she did get to see what the homunculi were. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I was like, oh my gosh, get out of there, guys. Get out of there. Seriously, when the homunculi came on the screen, you know that they were much more serious. I mean, I could 
they were a lot more sinister than I had expected. I mean, there are only three homunculi. That's pretty much the main three that we pretty much got to know and love. Lust, Envy, and Gluttony. Well, Gluttony, he doesn't really do much, but he does look creepy. Give props to that. Envy, well, yeah. He was a bit creepy, but he didn't really do much, per se. I mean, sure, he was there, but he does little things, mainly killing Hughes. And yes, they did include that in the, in the movie. Pretty much, it would be obvious. And Lust, she definitely got a lot more screen time. And that's supposed to be like an homage to the original. You know, 03. I think manga, but I don't know. But let's just say, just... Whew. I really did like the settings. They were definitely really nice. And plus it was taking place in Italy. In Italy. I was basically told about that. And, well, yeah, the homunculi... We did get to see what their basic powers were, and yeah. And oh my god, the final battle, it was just, I gotta say, it may not be as huge like with Brotherhoods, but I'd say I was okay with it. I mean, seriously. And this made Mustang awesome! I'm not gonna lie. I really liked how they portrayed Mustang's character in the movie. I mean, he's not a goofball. He is serious, but he does have his moments where he's, well, likable. I'm not saying he wasn't likable. I'm just saying that they at least gave him the dignity. Plus, the relationship with him and Hughes was definitely a nice touch, because it basically did show that they're really good pals and all that. And Hughes, Hughes, my man! Pretty much still the likable father that we all know. <laughs> um, um, as for Hawkeye, she was a little downplayed. But she did give her all in the final act, which I liked. Alphonse really isn't much in the movie. I mean, it really makes you wish that there was more of him in there, but... Considering, I think, with the CGI, I can understand why they didn't fully include him in a lot of scenes. But hey, at least he was there, and he did ro his role pretty well. And Edward, I liked how the actor portrayed him. It was definitely keeping in touch with his character. Plus, Edward, you basically are still likable, man. You still are likable. And honestly, there weren't that many bad guys in the movie. All you got were, like, the homunculi. But it makes you think. And, believe it or not, Shao Tucker. Yes. They actually kept... They actually brought him back. He wasn't killed off. And, let's just say, he got his just comeuppance. I mean, seriously. I was generally shocked when they actually brought him back. You know, like in 03, but he's not really a chimera, he's just a corrupted scientist. Not that he was to begin with. And then, well, there was uh, this general guy, I, I'm i not sure what his name was, but let's just say he kind of did the thing that uh, that other general did in Brotherhood, and I gotta say, some CGI, it was really good. Others times it was it was okay. Other times it was just plain goofy. But yeah, but I gotta say, boy, they actually managed to deal with the homunculi, and they were at limits. They it wasn't following full anime logic. It it was it wasn't a full Deus Ex Machina. Oh my god, yes! Thank you! Because that was my problem with Brotherhood. They always had a Deus Ex Machina on their side. You know, a major big what the heck. That was when I had a little bit of a problem with Brotherhood. I mean, they always had like a Deus Ex Machina right behind the door. Or around the corner, but you get what I'm saying. And let's just say, those moments... 
they they just get you in the feels and they just give you the suspense the sense of comedy the it just had a good balance and well it's gonna have moments you remember from the series so just like the Tucker incident and of course the kill and maze use and of course uh the find out with Marco some twists they actually I did not see coming I mean seriously the twists they were very unexpected and like you pretty much hurry up oh boy yeah sorry envy i just uh i'll just tell them why you are upset the reason why is because envy he was more downplayed he wasn't really that active in the movie then again in brotherhood and no wait in 03 you could tell that the homunculi they weren't that active but you could tell they had something important in the plot and the story and envy you only see him for like a few minutes and he's done he has he says a few lines he basically looks there and let's just say plot point is that i'd say he was okay still it was nice to see him though and well i was actually surprised that he was the first to go. You know, the homon the first of the homunculi gets <laughs> Oh great, he's giving me the evil eye. But yeah, literally. Envy was killed off first and then lust. And Gluttony was the only one who lived. How irony. You killed off two palpable homunculi? Then again, they are pretty deadly, so I guess that would make sense. But seriously. <sighs> but, yeah. I gotta say, after watching it, it just made me think, at least they acknowledged their fans, and they did not disappoint. Sure, there were a little bit of some issues, but they're minor. So, yeah. My take on FMA the movie? It definitely did what it promised, and it gave us what we were actually hoping for. Fall into two brothers to find the search of the Philosopher's Stone to restore their bodies. And, well, I'd say they did a pretty good job. And, yeah. Looks like Envy wants to say at least a few words. You pretty much behave yourself and pretty much don't pretty much cause a problem. <sighs> Go on. As much as I hate to say it, it is a good movie. I just wish that they didn't portray me as... Well... That. But no matter. I was in it. You fans got what you want. This sexy beast. But overall, if you pretty much ever get the chance on Full Metal Alchemist and you're curious about seeing it, I suggest you look on Netflix. Because that's where it is. Anyways, that's all I'm going to be saying. This is Envy. And Ashley, we'll be seeing you all later. Yes. Bye, everyone.